Good morning children welcome to science class so in science we are learning block 23 which is rocks and minerals and we have learned what are the different types of rocks where do you find the rocks yes and what is the rock cycle isn't it children so in the third topic we are going to learn about the minerals uses and uses of rocks and minerals okay so if you see children please open your science content book children and turn to page number 144 okay so if you see children rocks are made of natural non living substances called minerals minerals are nothing but the rocks which are made of natural and non living substances okay and some rocks contain only one mineral and some rocks contain many minerals okay children for example if you see marble is made of white marble calcite and gemstones like ruby and sapphire are minerals okay gemstone it's they are gemstones only but they are minerals okay children so in this way the rocks as minerals we can differentiate them okay so rocks you get from the magma isn't it children so in that only you will get the minerals okay however most rocks contain several different types of minerals okay most of the rocks have different kinds of minerals sometimes it has only one mineral but sometimes it most of the time it has many different minerals in it okay now coming to uses of rocks and minerals if you see children bauxite is an igneous rock which is formed by the magma after the vol volcanic eruption okay so basalt so that is used in the building materials okay now then you have calcite so that is a mineral you get so that is used to make the cement and lime then you have granite okay which is also an igneous rock which is an igneous rock that is also used in buildings monuments tom stones in this way there are many uses with the rocks and the minerals children okay so and it takes to form a rock or to form a mineral it takes many years you can say like thousands of years okay to form that rock or to form a mineral it takes many years okay and these rocks and minerals are limited in nature we get from the nature isn't it children these rocks and minerals we get from the nature and these are limited that means if we use everything all the rocks and all the minerals then we will become shortage with the minerals and we need minerals for many uses isn't it we have different types of minerals like mineral fuels metallic minerals non metallic minerals and these use we use minerals in for different purposes isn't it so we need minerals and rocks yes and if you use without planning then we might get to the scarcity of minerals that means they become less because they are not man made things isn't it children it is from the nature so if you use it continuously morely more like unnecessary if you use minerals then we will be facing the scarcity of minerals that's why we have to use them very wisely so that it last for ever it last for ever that means there will be no shortage of the minerals okay children so this is our topic for today children i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them and write it in your class work and also underline in your keywords underline in your content books okay children and if you find any other word which is difficult you can add it in your keywords okay now coming to your question answers what is the difference between a mineral and a rock so a mineral is a pure substance found in the rocks but a rock is made of one or more minerals isn't it just now we have learned some rocks have only one mineral some rocks have several minerals most of the rocks have sev several minerals so in rock you can find many different kinds of mineral but a mineral is a pure substance that is found in the rocks 
okay so write this answer in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your next question list some uses of rocks and minerals so as we have learned that bauxite is used for building the road building materials used to make the road building materials in the same way metals like metals means nothing but the minerals like iron copper aluminium gold and silver are obtained from the rocks gemstones like diamond ruby sapphire are used to make jewelry gold also we used for jewelry silver also we used for jewelry iron iron utensils you have copper copper utensils you have your copper wires you we have isn't it so all the rocks and minerals we are using for things okay you can write in some list some uses this it any or uh, any some uses if you write that will be fine okay so write this two answers in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 36 s4 uses of rocks and minerals okay so with this we have completed with our block children so in the next class i'll meet you with the new block children see you in the next class bye